Baby Malachi, since the day we found out about you, we began to prepare a place for you. A place you will be able to grow into the child of God you will become. A place of comfort, joy, peace, and the gentleness of the presence of God. A place for you to dwell. Mommy and I can't promise you the world will treat you right. But it's our duty to ensure that you have a place to renew your mind. You don't know this yet, but Mommy and I have prayed for you even before you were in the womb. That God's peace, which surpasses all understanding, would not only comfort you, but lead you in life. Every day is a blessing with many opportunities to impact. And before you began to create words out of your mouth, you began to impact others. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Your future is bright, son, and your greatest accomplishment will be who you are in Christ. How you love the world matters, no matter how the world makes you feel. I've always been amazed that God chose me, loved me, and cared for me. Now even more amazed to know that you were chosen by God for mommy and I. You learn so many things from us. And since feeling you inside the womb, I began learning from you. What a gift. I know your mind, but God's child first. And even before the womb, he knew you. You're a son. You're called beloved. And you will be a peacemaker. But above all, you will love because you were first loved. You are chosen. You have greatness within you and that greatness itself is God. His character will flow through you and touch others. The most amazing part about it is that God will create your character to be the most dominant thing. He'll make you a leader just being who you are in him. Thank you for the impact that you've made on our lives in less than a week. We have so much things to do together. So many things to learn together. So many experiences. This is good news. That God is with us in all that we do. There's no need to fear. Mommy and daddy got you. And when you're old enough to comprehend, I hope that you are able to see our mistakes and learn that it's okay. It's okay to know each and every day that you need God just as desperately as you do on the good days, as you need him on the bad days. 
Mommy and I will always be here for you. But there's one person who will never leave nor forsake you. And that is God himself. And sometimes it may feel that he's not listening to your prayers, but he listens very closely to the things you say to him. So we promise to assist you in seeing the good in all things. And when we fall short, know that we're all just as desperately in need of God as one another. I look forward to learning to be a father as I'm fathered by the Father above and raising you. And though I may make mistakes, there is one person who's perfect, and that's God. I love you, son. And when you see this, know that we got your back, even when we fail.